Good morning. Um, today we are going to go over IP addressing your worksheet, and um, we're going to do you're going to learn everything that you need to know about subnetting. So this recording may be a little bit long, but if you pay attention and rewind, pause whenever you need to, and learn the steps, the procedure. We're not going to go into um, the details in uh, with the binary numbers, so there's, if you follow the procedure step by step, you should be able to do subnetting without any problem. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to show, I build up a packet tracer. So what we have right here is we have two networks, network A and network B, and they are separated. This is a WAN, separated by two routers, and we are going to have to give an IP address, a sub, this is one subnet, the link is another subnet, and network B is the third subnet. So when you look at a topology and you want to find out how many LANs or subnets do you have, you count the interfaces on the router. So in this case you have one, two for network B, and the link, if it's the sharing, that's a network by itself, so that's three networks. So if you, going back here, uh, to our configuration, you have network A, you want to find out what the network address is, the first and the last host that we can uh, configure the devices, what is the broadcast address, and what is the mask. And then when we look at the chart after we do our subnetting, then we can go and do the configuration. We'll do that on a different video for now. And then we'll do another example uh, of subnetting. Once you learn these two examples, then you are going to be a professional when it comes to submitting. If you just follow what I do step by step. So let's get started with example number one. By the way, BLSM stands for Variable Link Subnet Masking. So what we're doing is we're really subnetting a subnet to make sure that we can conserve a lot of IP addresses. And so here's how we do it. So when you have an address such as 192.168.10.128 slash 25, so you're given the network with slash 25. If you look at this notation chart, which I have also, you can also find this in dot sharing. If you look at slash 25, slash 25 can offer you 126 hosts. Because slash 25 leave means that 25, the first 25 bits are your network address. And the last seven bits is for your host. So two to the seven is 128 minus two addresses. And then you got to take out the network address and the broadcasters. You're left with 126 uh, hosts. So imagine that you have a pizza pie that can feed 126 uh, people. So what you're going to do, there's going to be two groups, one that wants to eat. One, one that has 60 people in it and another network that has 20 people in it and a link between them will always require two. So how are you going to divide this big pizza pie and without wasting any food? So you look at this, you always start out with the largest number of hosts and you say, okay, this is how you do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice the big pizza pie in half, give one half the network A, and then we'll take the other half and slice it again. Give another one of those slices to network B. And then we'll take the final quarter and we'll slice that small enough just to give it to the uh, to the link. That's what really VLSM is, the subnetting, the subnet. We're going to vary every network depending on how many hosts they have. We'll give them a different a variable, a, you know, a different uh, subnet mask address. That means we are varying the length of the subnet mask to give us different number of hosts per subnet. Okay, so here's how you do the subnet. When you get the original address, you look at the network that requires the largest number of hosts. In this case, it's 60. And then what you do is you look up this chart, the notation chart, and you see which slash should I give. And obviously it's slash uh, 26, because slash 26 can give us up to 62 hosts. Slash 27 is no good because it's not enough. Slash 25 would be too much. 
and we don't want to waste any IP addresses. So slash 27 is the most appropriate. So you write that down. Slash 27, and then you write the equivalent uh, equivalent decimal format. So once you write slash 27, then you take the 27 and you subtract the old mask. In this case, it's 25. And you get 2. This answer that you get has to be, then you write a 2, and you raise the answer that you got, the result, so it becomes a power. So, oops, oops, sorry, sorry. I, what I meant to do is this answer, 2, you are going to raise it to 2. That little 2 on the top there, that's because the power 2, that's from the result. And what we're trying to do is, we're trying to figure out, in this case it's 4 sub next. 60 hosts, oh wait a second, it's not slash 27, what the hell am I talking about, it's slash 26. See, I've already made a mistake, so slash 26, it ends with, I made a mistake already. So this is 192. And then you take 26 minus 25, which is um, a 1. And then 2 to the 1 is 2 subnets. So what we did right here is, now I know that the big pizza pie is going to be sliced into two slices. That's what, the, that's what I did. First two steps. Then I'm going to calculate something called the block size. The block size always starts with 256, and you always subtract the last number in the new mask that you calculated. 192 in this case, so 256 minus 192 is equal to 64. Once you've done these four steps, then you're pretty much done. The first address, now you're going to calculate the two addresses, and you'll see where we use the block size. The first address is always the given, so it's 192.168.10.128, and the second address is you add the block size to the last byte of the first address. So why to the last byte and not to the third or to the second? To the last byte, because this 192, where did I get it from? From the last byte of the sub mask address. Okay, so we're going to have 192.168.10.128 plus 64 is 192. There's my two subnets. They both are slash 26s. And that's it. So let's find out the range. This is how you find out. Let's take the first slice of the, or the first subnet and find out the range of valid addresses inside uh, a network that you can assign to hosts inside a network. The first address is always you look at the first byte in the network and you add a 1 to it, whatever this number is. So 1 plus 128, you get 129.129. 2, the let, to find out what the last address, what the last valid address in the subnet, you look under the 128, you see a 192. You see a number. Whatever this number is, you subtract it too. So 192 minus 2 is 190. That's it. And this is, we're going to give it to network 8. I'm going to bold byte this part of the network and we're done. So we sliced the slash 25 into two subnets. We, take, we took this subnet and we're giving it to sub network A and we're left with a one slice, which is slash 26. So let me put this in in the chart. The network address is 192.168.10.128. The first address, if you see that 129, that means it's 192.168.10.129. The last address is 192.168.10.190. The broadcast is always 1 plus the last byte of the last available address. So it's 192.168.10.191. And uh, 
Let me just expand this a little bit. Oops. And the sub mat mask address is slash 26. So I always like to write that uh, in um, in the uh, I'm sorry in the uh, decimal format. Okay. That's it. That's all the subnetting. And now it just repeats itself. So now we have a slice of slash 26. That's what you're going to stop me working with. So let's take a look at a network that requires 20 hosts. So we look up the chart. 20 hosts looks like a slash 27. So it's 27. And you write that down in, again, in decimal format. And then you say 27 minus the 26, which is this one, because we can slice this network. This is no longer, you can use the slash 25 because it's already been divided into two networks. So 26, 27 minus 26, that so gives me a 1. And then 2 to the power of 1 is new sub nets. Right? So we're going to break up this slice into another half again. The block size is 256 minus, in this case it's 224, right? 224, which is uh, 32. So let's write down the two networks. It's always the first one is this one, because that's what we're working with now. Uh, so it's 192.168.10.192. And now we are going to add 64 to the 192. So 64 plus 192 is 224. There's my two networks, and they're both slash 27. See how quickly you can do this? You should be able to subnet faster than going to Google and figuring out a, a subnet mask calculator. You know, you got to be able to do that on a piece of paper without using anything. Quicker than going to the computer and trying to figure it out. Because otherwise, just go to the computer, go to Google and try to find your answer. Anyway, so what's the first valid address? It's 192 plus 1, so you get 193. What's the last valid address? You look underneath, you see 224, you subtract the 2. So it's 222. Right, and that's my network. I'm going to highlight that again and bold type. What's the net? Let's put that in the chart. It's 192.168.10.192. First address is 192.168.10.193. Last address 192.168.10.222. And in the broadcast 192.168.10.223. And the mask is 255.254. Okay, let's do the link. The link is always two hosts, and two hosts, as you can see, is always slash 30. And by the way, whenever you are doing configuration on any topology, if there's a link, it has to be a slash 30 network. If it's anything else, it's wrong. Because if it's more than slash, if it's less than slash 30, that means you're wasting IP addresses. If it's more, it doesn't work. It has to be a slash 30 or a link. So let me write that down in decimal format. So you do 30 minus the 27 in this case. Oops. 27, and that's equal to 3. And then 2 to the power of 3. Is eight subnets, and then the block size is two fifty six minus two fifty two, and you'll get four. So let's list the eight subnets. I'm not going to list them. I'm just going to list a couple. Although, you, of course, you can just keep adding four, four till you get to all eight of them. Uh, so the first address is 192.168.10.224. Second one is 192.168.10.228. Let me just do another one. Uh, 192.168.10.232, and so on. They're all slash 30, of course. You keep going till you get eight subnets and um, slash 30. So. Oops. 
policy processes. So let's take a look at this one. The first address is dot two point five to dot two twenty six, and that's for the link. And you're done. That's it. And let me both type that, and let me put that in the um in the chart. So it's one ninety two point one sixty eight dot ten dot two twenty four is the network address. First is one ninety two thousand sixty eight dot ten dot two twenty five one ninety two thousand sixty eight dot ten dot two twenty six. The broadcast is one ninety two one sixty eight dot ten dot two twenty seven. And the mask, of course, is just blah, 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 blah. And that's it. In our next video, I'm going to take this and we'll do the configuration of the network. So I'll we'll do that some other time. All right. Now, you're pretty much doing the same thing, but there's a little variation in the rules when you have something, when you're starting out with a slash that is less than 24. So it's a little bit trickier. Just listen carefully and everything else follows. Pretty much the same thing. If you learned what I just did previously, you pretty much got 90% of the rules on how to subnet almost anything. And most likely, the questions that you will get or the, any subnetting that you're going to break up, you're going to break up a slash 24 network. So the easy part, which is part one. But let's say if you have something less than slash, you're starting out with something less than slash 24, like this example. You have a network that starts out with 1283, 160, and 0, and it's a slash 22. So again, you start with the largest number of hosts, 500. I look up 500, and it's a slash, it means a slash 23. So slash, you write slash 23, you write that down in binary, I'm sorry, in decimal format, which is uh, 254.0. Let me just uh, that a little bit. And then you do 23 minus 22, you get 1, and 2 to the power, again, same procedure, nothing changes so far, equal to 2 sub nets. And then you do a block size, block size, which is equal to 256 minus, now, here's the thing. When I look to the last byte, I can't subtract the 0, that's not good, so I move on to the third byte in the mask, and I subtract that. So 256 minus 254, you get 254, you get a 2. Alright, and there's my two subnets. So remember, if you don't see a byte, a number at the last byte of the mask, you move on to the third byte, and that's where I did. That's what I did. So the first network is 1283.160.0. And now, let me just bring this down a little bit so you'll see what I'm doing. And let me move this up a little bit. The next address now, you need to add the block size. It's 1283. Dot. Now you're adding the block size, the 2, to the 160, not to the 0. So it's 162.0. Why? Because uh, the 254 came from the third byte when I calculated the block size. And there's my two networks, slash 23, slash 23. First address is going to be adding a 1 to the 0, dot 1, 2, and the last address, this is how you do it, when you have something like this. When you look underneath, I don't see a number, I cannot subtract it, you can't have something with a negative, a minus. So when you look underneath and you see a 0, you move over to the third byte, you subtract the 1, dot 254 so the answer is going to be for the last network is 162 minus 1 which is 161 dot 254 it's always ending with dot 254 when this happens and that's it and that will be your network a so let me highlight that again and let me put that in the network so it is 1283.150, I'm sorry, dot 160.0. First address is 1283.160.1. Last address, 1283.150, no, dot 161.254, right? 
and the broadcast is 1283.161.255 and the mask is 255.254.0 okay now let's do B network B a hundred hosts requires a slash 25 so I do slash 25 which is equal to 255.128 25 minus this 23 right here and that gives me a 2 right and then Two to the power of two is four subnets. The block size in this case is two fifty six minus I have a number at the end now, I can subtract it, it's one twenty eight. So you get one twenty eight. Alright, so he's the admit is another exception to the rule that you need to follow. Let's list the four subnets. The first address is 1283.162.0. Second address is 1283.162. Uh, 0 plus 128 is 128. And the third address, 1283. Now here's the problem. If I add another 128 at the end, you're going to get 256 then you can't have a 256 in a network address. So when this happens, if you add another number and you get something larger than 255, you go to the third byte incremented by 1, it becomes 163.0. So that will be your third. And then you move on to the fourth. That's the exception. 163, and then now you can add a 128 at the end. There's my four subnets. That's it. Now you learned everything I, I had to say. This is 20 slash 20. When it comes to submitting, slash 25, slash 25, slash 25. So the first address on the top would be dot 1, 2, 128 minus 120, uh, minus 2 is 126. And uh, that's it. That is my network B. So I'm going to highlight that. And I'm gonna pop it into the chart. 162.1. I'm sorry, dot 62.0. That's the network address. 1283.162.1. The last address is 1283.162.126. 12 162.127 All right, let's just continue. 60 hosts. Look how fast I'm going to move. Now I'm going to move a little bit faster. 60 hosts is a slash 26 from the chart. So slash 26, which is 55, 55, 55, 192. And uh, 26 minus uh, the 25 is 1, and 2 to the power of 1. Let me bring that back down, equal to 2 subnets. The block side is 256 minus, in this case it's 192. And now we list the three subnets. We're going to start with the next available, or you can slice any of these three. So it's 1283.162.128 is the first. The second one is going to be 1283.162.62. Oh, what's the block size? I never calculated it. So 256 minus 1. 92 is um, 64, right? So 128 plus 64 would go into the um, 192, right? So those are my two networks. So those slash 26s. Perfect. First address is dot 129. 
2.1.90. And that's my network C. I'm going to highlight it. Right? And let's populate the table. 12.83.162.158. Okay. First address is 12. 12.83.162.159. 12.83.162.180. Broadcast is 12.83.162.191. And the mask is 55, 55, 55, All right. Let's do the key links. Remember, the link is slash 30. This is 55, 55, 55, 52. And 30 minus 26 in this case. And that gives me a... Four and two to the power of four is going to be sixteen sub s. The block size is always two fifty six minus two fifty two. It's always a four for a length, so you need to list sixteen sub nets, but I'm just gonna do four of them because I only need three. Let's just do four out of the sixteen. It's twelve eighty three dot one sixty two dot one ninety two is the first one. Second one is gonna be twelve eighty three dot one sixty two dot one ninety six. Next is twelve eighty three dot one sixty two dot uh, two hundred and let's do the fourth one twelve eighty three dot one sixty two dot Four and so on. Just keep adding. So let's do a slash thirty, slash three o, slash three o, slash three o. First address up here is gonna be dot one ninety three to dot one ninety four. That's for link one. Uh, the second one is going to be. Dot 197 to 198. Okay, that's my 198. That's my link two. And the third one is going to be dot uh, 201 to dot 202. There's my three links addresses. And you can, of course, put them into the chart. I'll just do the link one. You can populate the rest yourself. Uh, this is going to be my link. So, again, the first one is 12.83.162.193. Uh, 12.83.162.195. What the hell am I doing? Something is wrong. Oh, no, no, no. This is a network address, which is 192. Sorry about that. This is going to be 193. And this is going to be 194. The broadcast is going 1283.162.195. And the mask is, of course, 555. You should be able to put in the addresses just by copying those three links and put them in the chart. Once you have everything in the chart, then you can take that and do your configuration. Okay? This is the method that I use, and if you practice this over and over and over, you will become a professional. You will be able to do this without a calculator. If anybody throws in any type of network, just follow the rules I told you. Remember, you start out with the largest number of hosts. So, I put them in ascending order in this case, but somebody can say network C is the one that requires 500. So you have to start out with that and then go to the next one and so on. Okay? 
and uh, hopefully this helps. So you can always refer to this and keep practicing. Uh, I'll put the solution up in doc sharing, and I'll leave also uh, a clean slate one of them so you can practice this on your own. And let me know if you have any questions. All right. I'll see you on the next recording for um, for IPv6.